The first thing that I want to say is that as a Catholic, I first and foremost follow Jesus Christ. This will be a two-part video, as I'm sure many of you are wondering, how are you qualified to speak on this? You're married. Part two will be with Paul, a man who struggles with same-sex attraction and who spoke with Cardinal Sarah on this topic, but lives a chaste life. He will share what Cardinal Sarah said and more. That will be coming out next Saturday, so stay tuned for that. Before I get going, I want to say that I found out about what the Pope said from my 14-year-old sister in a text this morning. How sad that she had to read that and wonder if the church's teachings were changing. I'm sure that there are many people around the world who are confused, and I hope this video helps. What we need to realize is that Jesus calls us to holiness. Many will say, oh yeah, but he ate with tax collectors, sinners, prostitutes. And my response is, yes, but he told them to sin no more. Scripture affirms, and the church, for many centuries that marriage is between a man and a woman. Pope Francis allegedly said, what we have to create is a civil union law, that they are legally covered. The Pope said, I stood up for that. Just because you made one statement, a statement that's not infallible, doesn't mean that he's correct. As it is not infallible, it's just his opinion. So what do I do when statements like this are made? I look to those scholars who have deeply studied scripture and tradition, and I recommend you do this as well. I look to one of my favorite Catholics, Dr. Scott Hahn, who was once Presbyterian, and he disagrees. I looked at Steve Ray, who was once Baptist, and he disagrees. He said, can you imagine any of the fathers, councils, or previous popes endorsing this? I looked at Trent Horn, and he disagrees. These men have studied scripture and tradition much more than I can, as it is their full-time job. When I see this consensus among scholars, affirmed by previous popes, and sacred scripture, it is clear that I'm going to disagree with this opinion. It is very troubling to see this coming from the pope, and I'm sure will be a barrier to conversions, so we need to pray for the church. The gates of hell will not prevail, and Christ is the King. I'll go into more detail in part two, but wanted to put out a timely response. Have a blessed day, and God love you.